Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki here for PrinceTrader.com with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, well, Friday was very similar to the other days uh, of uh, last week's trading. The 20-day simple moving average, or the middle Bollinger Band, whatever you want to call it, is acted as complete, firm, absolute, unwavering support. And with every move down, you see the dip buyers come in and uh, go ahead and buy this market and take it up to new highs. We printed as high as 15.64 half on Friday. Globex, we've got a high of 64. Uh, current trade 62 half. Our low is 15.59 quarter. That's right off of my daily pivot today, which is 15.59 even. So I I'm looking for 59 to be important today. 64 half is obviously important. On a break above, I still have a zone of 1568 to 1572 as a punch area uh, where you can look to fade that area uh, to come back inside the bands. Right now the upper band is sitting right at 1566. If, if that band gets breached and we run up a little bit higher, then you, you may see a little bit of a short-term uh, uh, topping situation where you could pull get, do it, at least a day trade or a scalp trade to fade that market back inside the bands. As far as longer term swing trading stuff is concerned, you know guys, I, you know, nobody likes to get swing short a market more than me. And I'm I'm flat, I've been flat, I am not involved. And the reason I'm not involved is we are not even 30 handles off the 45 day pivot. 45 day pivot comes in at 1536.33, peak price 1564 half. So about 28 uh, handles, you know, 28, 27 and change from the 45 day pivot. I don't get into situations where I am scaling in without, you know, without concern until there is 45, 50, 55, 60 handles above that pivot. We are nowhere near overbought. And it doesn't really matter, and I'll back this out, it doesn't really matter where we've come from in this period of time. We're not overbought. And it's not a situation where you heard me saying, you know, back in, in you know in, in, in January that we needed to come back because we weren't getting the twenty day moving average involved. You see this entire gap here. See this gap. The 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 middle band is very involved. We reached for it, came back establish it as support and we're moving back very slowly and steadily back up to the upper band. So it, this is not the time to lay out swing shorts. This is the time to understand that, that, that the 20 day is support underneath you and wait for a better opportunity to get a better entry on a short. So I, you know, and that, that's a completely separate conversation versus trading the day. Trade the day long, short, you know, we use our volatility levels, we use our other rules, and we trade the day. But from a longer term view, we are not in a position yet where this market is ready to, um, to stop. These Bollinger Bands are getting tighter, and that has the potential to, that volatility has the potential to expand and create another leg up. And I, I don't want to see people blindly getting swing short in the face of that simply because they think the market has gone up enough. The market could care less. Okay? Um, now you've got, you know, we were in a situation here where these bands were getting tighter. And could could the volatility expand to the downside? Absolutely. But we've been waiting for that day for a long time. And even when it does, it's only been sustainable for a few days. I'm not going to get really convinced that we're ready to go down until the 20 day gets breached and then it's tested and confirmed as resistance on a closing basis. At that point, you'll see these bands start to move outward and then you can start talking about being short the lower half of this band, which is a much safer trade than trying to pick this top every day. Okay, so 1559 daily pivot, we've already bounced off that. Just underneath is the three day at 1557.67. So, you know, call that a zone, and right now it's a zone of support. 
and that drops us back down to the nine day at 1552 quarter uh, and that's a potential area uh, for dip buyers to come in uh, if not there then certainly at 1547 in the area of the uh, the 20 day and we've already talked about uh, the 45 day pivot and how it's in an absolutely neutral situation so everybody have a fantastic day hope you had a great Easter weekend Mike Bakke for PrincetonTrader.com. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.